Hello. Uh, before we start, I wanted to announce uh, on the Michelet podcast that I have now launched the fifth and final podcast in my series, which is the Tefila podcast. And that's where I intend to upload all my shirim on Tefila and Tehillim and Brachos and really anything that has to do with our relationship with Hashem. So um, uh, I'm excited about that. And uh, if you are considering becoming a, a patron on my Patreon, this would be a great time to do so because the costs uh, up front for starting a new podcast are always higher than the cost uh, to maintain it. And, um, and uh, you know, any contribution you can make would be helpful, uh, even if it's uh, $3 a month or even a one-time contribution of $3. Uh, that's enough to effectively sponsor uh, 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 one uh, episode of, uh, of uh, with the surcharges <laughs> added. So thank you very much. And uh, without further ado, time for Mishlei. Okay, we are on Mishle 1911, Yud, Tes, Yud, Aleph. And this is a, I mean, they're all good, but this is a good one. I did this one yesterday with Ken and uh, excited here. Okay, so, Seichel Adam He'erich Apo V'sifarto Avor Al Pasha. Um, the wisdom man uh, lengthens the, or is, is the length of his mouth, or lengthens his mouth? Not mouth. Uh, oh, anger. Sorry. Yeah, anger, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, so I, 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 first of all, I would say because we have so many different words for uh, like knowledge stuff, mm -hmm. uh, what's more specific? W wisdom is chachma. Yeah. So what do you say for seichel? Um, I mean, we're going to have to define it anyway, but we, we should get a, a, at least a translation. Right. Intelligence. Intelligence, yeah. Okay, so the intelligence of of a man um so uh hey joe um wasn't sure if you were in the state <laughs> um uh harry uh is i i guess the so uh, how do we translate eric Kapayan when we talk about god slow to anger right so let, let's say i mean literally it prolongs his anger but that sounds like he's just angry for a very long time so let's say let's say um slows his anger okay and then we'll have to define it uh 1911 yeah uh the sifarto of uh, Tiferis. Splendor? yeah splendor that's a very art scrolly translation <laughs> yeah and uh and so here how do you tifarto would be yeah so this is what i'm not sure about and to this day by, by to this day i mean like ever since i prepared this yesterday <laughs> i don't know if tifar to is so who's tiferis what do you think this is talking about um, uh i was thinking the other yeah and what's the other possibility um, no <laughs> maybe someone says that but uh Slender was anger uh, oh, that's interesting. Um, uh, that's interesting, actually. I guess that's technically true. Uh, I was thinking, uh, I think that's a little bit unlikely, uh, simply because it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, right, is, uh, is uh, Seichel. Is, uh, so it's either going to be an his splendor or its splendor, okay? Um, because if you think about it, that is the only subject in the Pasuk, is the Seichel of man, right? Um, but I it could go either way, and it might not even make a difference. His or its splendor, Avor al Pasha. That's another one of the Midos Gajah Baruch Hu. Over al Pasha. Or passes over. Yeah. Uh, is, uh, let's see, is, uh, so I, I think, let's go with overlooks. Okay. Or removes. Yeah. I mean, let's see. Avor. Yeah. Passover. I will say Passover. Okay. Uh, passing is, is, passing over his, uh, and let's use the, the most neutral translation of Pasha's offense, okay, which again, I think we've had this term before. Pasha could either be like offense due to negligence or it could be like open rebellion, you know? So um, yeah, okay, so that is uh, initial translation. Um, there's no Matusion. Sadigon says, mi sechel ha'adam arichus, oh, you got it, yeah. Uh, from the intelligence of man is the prolonging, uh, the slowness, uh, uh, slowing down of his anger. And, and from his splendor, uh, the overlooking of an offense. Don't know what to make of that exactly. 
uncomfortable ignoring it, but that's what he says. Um, uh, I mean, he, he is making it more parallel, right? Misecha uh, and Mitiferis by Ang the Mems, but I don't really know. Targum says, Sichle Devar Nasha Negidus Urche Veshiv Hore Denavar Achova. So the Sichle Devar Nasha, the intelligence of a person, Negidus Urche. Now, I didn't actually look this up. I don't know if Negidus means it is the opposition of his. Uh, of his way, <laughs> Urche. I mean, it's a uh, it radically different translation. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna ignore it, not because it is, uh, not because he's not saying anything, but just because we have a lot to do today and uh, we don't need to bother ourselves with that right now. Maybe if we if we spend two days on this, then we'll, we'll look back at it. Okay, Art Scroll. It is intelligent of a person to be slow to anger and his splendor to ignore a given offense. Don't know why they add given. Uh, an, uh, living Nach, an intelligent man is forbearing. Okay, forbearing means like he's uh, patient, right? Uh, and his his glory is that he overlooks an offense, and Alter says a man's insight gives him patience. His glory and his glory to overlook a fault. Yeah. All right. What are the questions here? Well, first of all, is it a coincidence that we do this? Um, I don't know if it's a coincidence. I mean, all good mitos are ascribed to the sparkle, you know. Uh, this maybe it's just we're associating to this because we kind of talk about it in the Yoga Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, not no, certainly not a central question. Yeah, Debbie, we're gonna say something. Yeah, is this being Avar Al Pesha a good thing or not a good thing? It's a good thing, yeah, because I could also see it. I mean, maybe I'm just re like reading the Pasuk incorrectly, but to say that he is Avar Al Pesha, that he's like he's going to be negligent or uncaring about uh, or, or just overlooking being a uh, Poshea. Which would be a negative then, if he's like oh. too concerned. If this, this splendor becomes like too great a thing in his mind. Okay, well, well hold on just a second. Make sure we have shot here. So first of all, the overall pesha, I think it's clear it's someone else's pesha against him, right? Yeah. So, so, the, so Dove's question is like, is this a good thing? Where do we see in the puzzle that it's a good thing? Uh, yeah. Tiferes seems to be undeniably good. You know, it'd be very, very difficult to read to say that Tiferes is bad. So. I guess maybe the way to ask the question in um, in uh, to encompass what David's saying, but also just to ask the question on on the pasuk at face value is what is good about being overall pesha, and why is this described as tiferes? Right? How's this tiferes? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, how is this a tiferes? What was it? Yeah. Okay. So that's gonna be one of the major questions. Obviously, is how does a person's seifel, uh, sorry, how does a person's seifel uh, slow his anger? And I think this is, a, I mean, even without understanding it, that's a chiddush, I think, because if you ask someone what makes a person slow to anger, what, what are they going to say, typically? They're, they're patients, right? They're going to name another mida. Mm -hmm. Here it is, it, it, it's seifel, which is either some sort of knowledge or some sort of faculty or some sort of skill, you know? Yeah. Why does it say Adam? I feel like it's just. <laughs> That's also true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm going to just uh, uh, append that to this question. Uh, why emphasize Seifel Adam, right? It's not Seifel Behema. <laughs> <laughs> Learn from here that man is man. <laughs> yeah. I'm not quite sure how to read the question. Yeah. The intelligence of a man slows his anger, uh, and his splendor or its splendor is to overlook offense. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't also, I also don't know the specific grammatical structure of war. I think it's like a gerund, like. Is the passing over of uh, is the overlooking of offense? I'm gonna say overlook. I keep saying passing over. I think overlooking is, is better. Uh, I, I'm just actually uh, no, no, that's too loaded. It's too loaded. Yeah. <laughs> I just think that that's like the corresponding English phrase, but that might be misleading because you might not be overlooking it. See, I guess that's a question also. Well, okay. Well, what, what, what? I think there's another major question on the first half. It's going to be fast anger. <laughs> no, it's going to slow. It's going to cause him to be angry slowly, but why get angry? Yeah. At all? So, so the question is, what is a rikhosapayim, right? Um, what is slowness to anger? 
uh, again, it doesn't mean that you just shout at the other person very slowly, you know? Um, and then also what does like, what, I guess, what is the difference? All right. So I guess let, let, let's just break it down to the question. What is, what is overall all Pasha? And then like, what's the difference between the two? Because like Joe's saying, it, oh, Eric Hapaim implies that he still has anger, mm -hmm. right? It's just that he's slow to it. Whereas overall Pasha, I mean, you can ask the question there also, is overall Pasha, does he also still have anger? It's just that he's like completely like moving on or do, does it indicate that the anger is like not there anymore? What is Tiferis? Yeah, what is Tiferis? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, I, I asked that earlier, but I'll break into a separate question. What is Tiferis? And then how is, uh, how is overall Pasha I Tiferis? You also notice, by the way, here's another subtle question, I think. It, in the first half, it tells you what is being used or what the means are to accomplish Eric Apayim. It does not say that in the second half. So, so if, and I think that's maybe what Sadigon was addressing, uh, is miti farto. But plain shot is, so in other words, if, if Seichel is what, uh, is, is the means of achieving Erech um, how does one achieve overall Pasha? And I, what would be the simplest uh, explanation? In, in other words, like the most conservative explanation given the Pasha is the Seichel also, right? So, so if that's the case, so then what determines whether your Seichel only is Marich, you know, Apcha, or whether it is, uh, uh, enables you to be overall Pasha. And if it's something else, other than the Seichel, then what is that other thing? Yeah. I have another question uh, related to Joe's question on question three that you have there. Yeah. Is I would have thought that Seichel Adam and his being anger that they're like two different parts of the mind that don't work together. Yeah. Like you can't have, I mean, I think this is where it's related to Joe's question that they don't really, I wouldn't have thought they worked in the same area together. They'd have to be separate times, not working at the same time. But it yeah. seems like you can't have them work together. Okay, good. So, uh, so let's say, so how does the person say how slow is anger? And um, what does that, uh, what is the, I'm going to use a, a, a fancy term to, sub to substitute for clear thinking. What does the interface <laughs> between his seichel and his anger look like? <laughs> right, like what, what they're, like they're, uh, you know, yeah. is it like, like the, you got the seichel here and the anger here and like they're pulling you in two different directions. Is there an actual like modification of the, of the anger through the seichel? Right. All righty. Um, I feel like these are the main questions, right? We don't need to ask what the practical purpose of this is because clearly, well, not so fast. <laughs> what, uh, I, I guess this was kind of the, uh, our first question when we said, what is good about over Al Pasha um, and what is Tiferis? It, it is weird, like what is the, what is the benefit? I guess, what is the benefit of Tiferis? Or like, who cares? I guess the who cares question is better, right? Because like, fine, you get you get you get like a Tiferes merit badge or something, you know. And also, uh, and this is another question which is included in what is Tiferes. I mean, I feel like, uh, oh, let me just actually read this uh, definition here. So if we go, uh, I'm not, I know I'm not sharing the screen because I don't really uh, need to. I'm just going to read this here. So um, Tiferes, the word, according to the Al Torah dictionary, means beauty or glory. Uh, that's the main definition, but then in terms of the particulars, beauty slash finery, uh, for example, like used by Big Day Kahuna a lot. Um, two is glory, three is honor or glorification. So I feel like whenever you're using any terms like this, then it has to be um, uh, like beauty in the eyes of whom, right? Like beauty, like who is recognized, like, like beauty to whom, right? Beauty, splendor to whom. Were you saying something? Yeah, uh, I have a top up here. Okay, good. So um, it hinges upon the word Tiferis. Okay. Which is the Gematria. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> the Gematria is 200 and. Um, 
So I think the word Kiferis implies light. I'm going to pass that the, the definition of Kiferis in this context is um, light. Glory in the like social realm. Okay. Um, and um, and I mean it, I think it reflects a like a, like, a, like a true thing, and not not just like you know people think you're, but you know. Um, and the the I'd say the, the situation is when someone does something wrong to you, there is an impulse that you have to like fight back about it to like defend your honor or something. Yeah. Um, but really, the, what, like, what is like the best in terms of social standing is if you like rise above that, um, and you're like, and you're not, you know, moved to anger at every little offense. Yeah. Uh, there does come a point where you have to, you know, take like stand up for yourself, mm -hmm. and that's why it's it's hairy hapo. Um, and not never as angry. Uh -huh. And that's like the case where um, um, I don't remember who it was the, the person who um, like well it was on a boat. And yeah, I knew you were gonna go to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like at that point, you know, um, if you don't get angry, then then it's not Paris. Um But um, if you but you have to like use your cycle to determine when is the time. Like, is, it, is this a time where I should get angry? Okay, so there's a lot there. <laughs> so let, me, <laughs> let, me, let me try to break it down. I heard four things, okay? okay. Uh, you tell me if this is four things. So number one, Tiferis is in the social realm, okay? Um, and the question I would follow up there with, don't answer this right now because I want to try to understand this first. Yeah. yeah, so the question, I think that's where the question comes in of the who cares. Like, undeniably, there is a, an, an admirable quality of someone who is overall Pesha. Um, but still the question is like, why is that being touted as like the, the benefit? Okay, so that's one thing. Uh, so what, that's the Tiferis. Okay, then you're saying that the um, the Harith Apo is talking about, and the Seichel Adam Harith Apo is, is talking about determining whether this is something that's, that is fit to get angry about. Um, and so, uh, so it's safe because it, it has to do with like analyzing and making a determination. It's not just patience, which is like just another blind meter that just counteracts. Like patience could also make you uh, um, Eric but not in this way, yeah. you know? So it's safe because it's selective, okay? Third thing is, um, is you're saying Harry Apo, so this is a question of mine. I, Harith Apo is a quantitative extension. That's what it means to be Marif. Oopsies. Um, that's what it means to be Marif, right? So that's the part I didn't quite understand. I understand that you're saying that he's not like immediately getting angry, but is it, I'm, I'm not sure if you're saying that it's a delay or if it's a, like what's the, what's the Arifus part? Uh, and then my other observation slash question is, are you saying that Harith Apo and Ovar Pasha all are like the two choices? And like he's choosing to either be Marek Apo, which means he does get angry at a certain point, or he's just overlooking it entirely, or are you saying something else? Um, I'm saying there are two aspects of the same phenomenon. Okay. Which is, I'd say, Harith Apo is in the long term. Okay. Like, and, and over is in the near situation. Oh, that's interesting. Like, Let's say you know a person does something to you a couple of times. You each the individual instances your overall pressure, uh -huh. but long term, if it's a problem, then you get angry when you know uh -huh. when you like because the situation. Falls. That's it. so an interesting example of that is uh, I don't know how, how many people were uh, listening to the sheer that I gave on uh, Ruvain's hate, but like let's say according to the raw bog where like he slept with Bilha. And he had the crazy thing with saying he's going to kill his sons and a bunch of others. So Yaakov never said anything when those things happened. He waited until his, he was on his deathbed and then rebuked him. Not that that was anger, but I'm saying like, yeah. like it would be similar to that sort of phenomenon where yeah. like you, 
the things are are noteworthy at the time, but you 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 delay it you delay it until uh, yeah okay I, I hear what you're saying yeah um, I, I'll point out I don't want to look at it yet uh, but just a note in case we don't get there is the Matutus David agrees that Tiferis is um, a social thing yeah um, and it's I think that's a good interpretation because it is beauty right it is like yeah. it, beauty has to be judged by someone else yeah yeah. And in terms of Tiferis, yeah. Um, you know, like, Spider-Man there. <laughs> well, first off, people care about the, about the social. Yeah. Um, and like the way they're perceived. But also, you know, it makes a difference whether people like whether people it makes a difference whether people respect you or not. And practically, yeah. Yeah. And if you do this, then this is something that like earns people's respect. Yeah. When you're when like someone is like doing something to you and you're just not getting angry. Yeah. Unless like unless like is necessary. Right. Uh, just to comment on that, uh, not on your entire shot, but one of the problems that Ken and I had a hard time with when we were learning this is like, Tiferis is a really weird word. Okay. And if you look, we're not going to do this now, but if you look at the five other times in Mishle that Tiferis is used, it's even weirder. Okay. Like, for example, there's one passage that says, uh, the Tiferis of elders is their grandchildren. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. You know, um, uh, or the Ateris, uh, sorry. Oh, sorry, no, maybe I'm mixing. I mean, it, it's in that, whatever. It, it, it's just, it's weird. It's a weird word. So I feel like a weird word calls for a, a, a nuanced understanding. So that I think that's why, like, I was always hesitant when, and by always, I mean yesterday when I was like, this can <laughs> when uh, to, Let's say we say it has to do with some sort of social perception. I feel like even there we have to differentiate it from kavod because I feel like kavod is like the go-to, you know, um, term for for something like that. You know, um, so noted. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm saying it gives you this sort of like pristine character. Yeah. That yes. Yeah. 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 And that's true. So just uh, to give a just a, not a full idea, but just to give a categorical breakdown of, of, of the Tiferis thing. So I think you do have to say either that Tiferis is going to be present in that moment. Like when you see someone who receives an offense and most people would get angry at that time and this person is over Alpasha, then you're like, whoa, Tiferis, you know? Um, or it's, and that's like the way you're saying it, or it's talking about a quality over a tremendous amount of time when like you realize that this is not the type of person who is who gets angry and they are overall pasha like for example uh and i'm sure you can think of different people like this and i'm sure it's somewhat arbitrary and i'm not saying that what i'm about to say is factual but since it's praiseworthy i cannot imagine rabbi markowitz ever getting angry he's just not a person that i can picture getting angry you know like you know there are some people who just like seem unflappable in that sense like that that like that 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 and and that's like a like an like there's like an aura of Tiferis of 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 the fact that they that they aren't angry you know uh, uh, around that you know so that's the other possibility for the type of Tiferis like the yeah. you know yeah yes 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 yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice um, one time I actually did see him get angry oh, yeah yeah so it's scary. I bet it was very yes. effective yeah 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 yeah. Very, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had a teacher like that also. Is uh, never getting angry, and then when he got angry, it was like it was terrifying. Yeah, it was yeah. absolutely terrifying. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. Anyone else have any other uh, ideas or approaches? I was just saying, safe or I'm not totally sure, but I, to me, it seems like, and I may have like misunderstanding what um, Mara Alpha was. But yeah. It seems like it's like. Um, like there's two things that Seifel gives you, like two benefits. Yeah. Like the one, it's just it's just saying like Seifel gives you like the benefit of like you know being like you know sort of like calm and collected. So yeah. You, you don't like impulsively like respond to right. something someone does. Yeah. But you like think it through. Yeah. And then, like act like you know make the correct decision yeah. in that moment. But then there's another benefit, which is kind of what I was just saying about like the social benefit of like. The, uh, you know, that, that, you know, people will see that year, you know, like overall Pesha is describing the, the external like action that yeah. people see. So that's, 
yeah, I'm not, I'm not totally explaining what the bear did, but just that's, that's, yeah, that's how people are looking at you. And that's why it doesn't say the, the cause of that. I because it's the same cause. It's, it's just, yeah, it's the same cause. And also it's, it's looking at it from the outside. Oh, okay. Okay. So that, that's a clean division there, right? So, so Harry Hoppo and overall Pasha are talking about the same thing, yeah. but, but like, uh, Seth Adam Harry Hoppo is like under the hood, you yeah. know, it's the, the mechanisms right. and then Tifarto overall Pasha is how people perceive it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Or that's a good, a good uh, reading of the Pasha. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. I'm just making an observation about this phenomenon. Yeah. Which is that when you're Harry Hoppo, and the overall pressure, overall pressure. Um, then it makes when you're angry more effective. Yeah. Because you're not. You're, like, they know it was after thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so I, one thing I'm still kind of dissatisfied with here mm -hmm. is the arichus apayim. What's the arichus apayim here? Right. Like I understand it's in opposition to immediate anger. Yeah. So what does it mean though that like you just wait and then you like get angry like yeah. later you know? Well, yeah, I mean it's possible it's just saying it's not like one hundred percent effective at destroying anger. Like you can't fully get rid of anger. It can only yeah, like, it's like, definitely clear that it's talking about someone who is not getting rid of their anger. Yeah. Right. yeah. So um, just let's say within the present, <coughs> um, yeah. I would say that the 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 original supply is that when. Um, is that what the person's doing is shifting their, their default response to the situation from being emotional to being their impulse. Yeah. So it doesn't, they're not removing, you know, they're not, they don't have an emotional response also. Yeah. But they're not, not letting it, they're, um, they're like, Pushing it down is the wrong term. But, um, <laughs> Agreed. They're, they're repressing it. <laughs> um, yeah, and they, like the, the person is delaying the anger response from, I guess I'm still saying it's the not immediate. Yeah. But it's, I'm saying it's because it's because they're shifting the the nature of their response. Okay, so uh, in the interest of, uh, of of time, so I want to share the idea that Ken and I came up with, and then do the Rabbeinu Yona, which is a different idea, but also helps to clarify uh, the idea Ken and I came up with. So we we answered Erech Paim not based on Minas Hakadosh Baruch Hu, but but that is a good example of this. Is what do we mean? What do we mean about God when we say He's Erech I mean, it takes a lot. I don't think so. I don't think that's what we mean because we talk about. Um, yeah, I guess I can't prove that, but uh, <laughs> I know it's wrong. No, <laughs> I mean I, 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 I could cite Mafarchim later on that show the support for my idea, but I, I uh, yeah. I think it's a good type of thing that like when you sin, you should be immediately smited. Yeah, but you're not. Right. So it has to do with delaying the acting on the anger, right? So I think that's what Erica Pine means. That's my understanding of Erica Pine and Michelet in general, but like, I think that's just a shot of Erica Pine is you, you are angry, but you don't act on it right now, okay? And the reason why you don't act on it right now is because you might do something stupid, right? You might do, you might, you know, uh, um, what do you call, like uh, either exacerbate the situation or like, like you know uh or, or or provoke the other person make them angry and it's a lot of bad stuff that could happen so what you do is you you uh you delay your anger uh or you delay acting on your anger okay and uh until you can think about the situation uh clearly now seichel by the way this is another question we, I, we, just, we didn't emphasize enough is what is seichel and seichel is a little weird initially i feel like chachma and tabuna and das are much more common seichel is a little weird so the I don't have a full working definition of seichel, but Rabbeinu Yona, well, it says one of the uh, benefits of Mishle is lakahas musar haskel. And there Rabbeinu Yona says haskel means hashgacha ve'iyun b'chol ma'aseh, which means supervising and analyzing every action. So it's not like chachma is like seeing the consequences of your actions, okay? Tzvuna is like abstracting a universal 
from many particular instances of like uh, seeing the con consequences of your actions. Seifel is has to do with applying the Chachma and the Tvuna. It's a certain type of like, you know, I guess the fancy uh, term is like uh, metacognition of like thinking about how you're thinking about things, you know, where you can, you, you definitely need Chachma in order to, to do this, but like Chachma is not sufficient. It's necessary, but not sufficient. Meaning you can be someone who can see, like, let's say for example, this is a bad example, you can have like a, a war, like a general, a military general who's very good at like strategizing, but if he doesn't have this ability to stop and like look at his own self and say, I should, I should, you know, pull out of my anger here, then like his chachma is not going to do much good. So Seifel is a certain, I, I still don't know a good, uh, a good word for it, but it's closer to like vigilance than wisdom. So, so if you find yourself in a state of anger and you know that you can't get rid of the anger, you can still say, okay, if I act on it now, then it, could just make things worse. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it some time. I'm gonna wait and cool down. Now, how much time do you give it? <clears throat> For some people, it's counting to ten. That's the best they could do. But that's better than nothing. For some people, it's, I'm gonna come back to it later on today. Some people, it's gonna be, I'm gonna sleep on it. I've had things before where I say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it one week, and if I still feel the same way that I felt, then I'll, I'll approach the person. You know. So I think it differs based on the circumstances and based on the person. Okay, and, <clears throat> and also based on how bad the offense is. Um, now here's the catch though. Okay. If you do that, you, oh, so, sorry, sorry, not, not yet. Overall Pesha though, is there's no anger. You, you, you remove, you, you overlook the offense is you remove the anger. Now, if you just said, Hey guy, <laughs> never get angry. That's like an unattainable goal. Okay. But here's the catch. And this is the leaders of the Pasuk is by engaging in Erech Apayim, you often will just let go of the thing itself, okay? Meaning you tell yourself, okay, I'm angry and I'm going to act on it, but I'm going to give it 24 hours. And then the next day you realize it's not nearly as bad as I thought, and I'm just going to let it go. It's like a hack, you know? It's like a psychological hack where if you, if you made the effort to just let it go on the spot, that's just not going to work because you are angry. But if you delay it, that will let you get around it, okay? And the and, and not just in the moment, but what's going to happen, okay? Let's say, let's say this year, okay, just to throw it out there, let's say this year, you engage in this practice 10 times, okay? You're seething with anger and you say, okay, let me hold on to this. I'll come back to it in a day or in a week. And then you come back to it in a day or a week and you realize, oh, that anger did not merit being warranted or did not merit being acted upon. So what's going to happen over time? You will start to realize that these things that make you angry, that it's all an illusion, that like it feels like it has to be responded to right now, but you know that if you just give it some time, you there's a very good chance that you'll just let it go. So over time, it gives you the, a, a perfection as well. And I think that that is the, the uh, so th this part I'm actually not so committed to about what we say the Tiferis is. I'm totally fine saying that the Tiferis is the social uh, uh, admiration that people do admire someone who is not giving into their anger. And this is being touted as a lolishma, you know? Um, or maybe the Tiferis is a reference to the fact that this really is a, uh, a high level. I don't really know, but I don't think that's the essence of the idea. So that was the idea that kind of I came up with for, for the puzzle itself. Okay. Now let's do Rabbeinu Yona because he takes it one step further. Okay. And he's going to, he's going to take it in a different direction, but uh, uh, let me just share the Rabbeinu Yona. Okay, so Rabina Yona says like this. Um Seifa Adam Harifapo. Kashir Yarif Adam Apo. When a person prolongs his anger, Veloyis Nakim Bay Eskamasan, he doesn't take revenge at the time of his wrath. Ad Yavorzam until the anger passes. So that's like what I'm saying is that you you don't act on it immediately. Uh, this is from the Council of the Intel, uh, the Intellect. And he's doing it for his own glory and his own benefit. Okay. So there he's acknowledging, not from the word Tiferes, but he's acknowledging in terms of motives. Yeah, you're doing it for your own glory. That's one Lilishma. And the other one is like it's going to benefit if you don't act in your anger. Right? That's clear. Because wrath um, dumbifies 
the, uh, the knowledge of man and corrupts his intellect. The imi vakishli, he's not going to be a sapo if he wants to take revenge at the time of his anger. Lo badas yase masav. He's not going to act with intelligence and, uh, and, and knowledge. The yivakish v'yipol me moatsosav. And he's going to be ensnared by uh, and fall into his own uh, counsels. Ula yore himin hagazel al sikhlo. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, so so far so good. So far it's the same thing that I'm saying. Okay, now here's here's his chiddush. Maybe this indicates uh, this this behavior indicates about his mind. But he cannot take credit for it. Why? Because he's not forgiving and uh, and like um, removing the the offense of his friend. And the fact that he is prolonging his anger, he's doing this for his own benefit and his own kavod. So you can't take credit for it. Okay. Now, if we pause there, what question do we have on Rabbi Yona? I mean, why do you give credit for it? Yeah, you're still, you're not getting angry. I mean, I mean, you are getting angry, but you're not like acting on it and you're still acting intelligently. So, I mean, this guy's better than the guy who's short tempered. Mm -hmm. So, who cares if you're doing it for your own benefit and glory? That's all of Mishle. Yeah. All of Mishle wants you to do things for your own benefit and your own glory, you know? Like he actively encourages that. So it's weird. Okay, now going on. The Tiferes of Oral Pesha, Kasher Yavor Amidosav, when he, uh, I can never translate Mavir Amidosav, when he overlooks offenses, let's say, right? The Yisa Le Pesha Chavera V'chatasam, and he bears the uh, offenses and sins of his, his fellows. Zos Tiferes Shlema Umidas Chesed. This is a perfected Tiferes, a Tiferes of perfection, and a mita of chesed. Hmm. So the question is, what's that? <laughs> yeah. And I think the key is that question I said before, is like, what's lacking in the first guy? What do you say? Well, when you're being marikapo, the whole reason you're doing it is for your honor. Right. And here, but then when you totally, you know, forgive the guy and don't even uh, feel anything about it, you don't even feel offended, then you're totally submitting your honor. To uh, that. Okay, good. Okay, good, good. That, that's actually a point that we did not get last night, but that really contributes to the main idea. Okay, hold, hold off on that for one second. That's, that's a really good point. Anyone else? Okay, so here's what we said, okay? And this actually is a response to a machlokas, uh, not a machlokas, sorry. A ma it's not a machlokas I have with your mom, but it's a, a discussion that we had about stoicism and, co and cognitive behavior theory, therapy or, or theory, right? So here's the idea, okay? Is there's, there are two ways to deal with anger. There's a mishleic practical way, and then there's a perfection, okay? So the first half of the puzzle is talking about how to practically mitigate the effects of anger, okay? And that's by not acting on it and by letting yourself cool down, et cetera, right? But the thing is, is that if you wanted to take credit for yourself there, then that would be a mistake because there are mitos where the mita itself is just in the practical decision-making, but anger is an actual philosophical imperfection, okay? And that has to do with what Joe was saying is that it stems from the ego of the fact that like this person did something wrong to me, that is, a wrong and that like deserves a response that's like you know like and, and i i don't think the purpose of this puzzle is to go into what the nature of that imperfection is but let's say like in the rama in Hilkos deus he says that there are two minos you should distance yourself from to the utmost gaiva and kaas and by the kaas thing he says you know anyone who uh, gets angry it's as if he worships a vodazara anyone who gets angry his chachma departs from him anyone if he's a navi he loses his nubu. If he's a chachma he loses his chachma you know uh, and so like there are there's an actual imperfection in anger. And if you like took credit for yourself for the fact that you're doing this for your own benefit and your and your own covered, that reduces that that's that reflects a distorted perspective where you're not really viewing anger as a, as an actual like distortion of reality. You're just viewing it as like something that leads to bad decision making or to shame. So the second half of the puzzle is revealing that no, there is a further development where you realize that like this, like, like you know, actually reminds me of, hold on, the Rambam in, I actually haven't looked at this yet, but the Rambam in the end of Deus, when he's talking, I think it's in the end of Deus, when he's talking about, 
Revenge, I think. Let's see here. It's either in the end of Deus or it's in Chuva Perica phase. Hold on just one second. Uh, or it's in both places. Just one second. Huh, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna read both of them because it's a good question how they fit into, into what we're doing. So at the, this is in a Deus, the very last halacha after he talks about um, uh, uh, losicum lositor of uh, um, revenge and bearing a grudge. He says, Ela, so he says, what are you supposed to do after you don't do those two things? You should erase the matter from your heart and not bear, bear it as a grudge. So long as you bear it as a grudge and remember it, then maybe you'll come to take revenge. That's why the Torah uh, uh, is so strict with uh, bearing a grudge. Uh, until he erases the iniquity from his heart and doesn't remember it. This is a good day, that, the best day that is possible to establish civilization with. Umasa umantanan shel bnei adam zeimze and in people's conduct with each other. Okay, fine. So that's at the end of that. But then in in the end of uh, in Shuva Perak Bey's halacha yud, he says this is in the context of people wronging you and uh, and like when how they approach you to, to get mechila. So he says lefish aser la adam shi achzari v'leis pias. It's it's prohibited for a person to be cruel and to not be appeased. Ela yihe noach lirtos v'kasha lechos. He should be easy to appease and difficult to anger. Uh, and when he, the, the sinner asks for forgiveness, he should forgive with a whole heart and a desire soul. Even if he afflicted you a lot and sinned against you a lot, he shouldn't take revenge and bear a grudge. This is not the one I wanted either. Huh. Where does he talk about it? Hold on. Oh, wait, was that it? No, mysterious. It talks somewhere about how it's not worthy to get angry about because it's all Hevel. You would think I would know where that is. Oh, <laughs> oh here we go. Oh, it was at the beginning. It was in, it was in Deus. It was just in, uh, in uh, earlier above. Okay. Hanokim <laughs> Escavero, when he's talking about the Kima itself. Hanokim Escavero, this is in, in Deus, Zion, Zion. Uh, over Good mnemonic. Losas misham adsha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, over below sase. Uh, he violates the losase. Shnemar losikom. The alpha pish ino loka dea rahima od. Even though he does, uh, you don't get makus. It's very bad mita. Ela royal anam lios maavir al kol divrei haolam. It's per, proper person to ignore all matters, worldly matters. Shah kol itel hamavinim divrei hevel vahavai. By those who understand, all of these are matters of nothingness and, and uh, exaggeration. Or fantasy, and they're not worthy of taking revenge about. So that's what I mean by like the philosophical perfection of of uh, of overall pasha is if you still get angry, it shows that you're still attached either to your ego, like you were saying, like the kavod thing, or you're attached to these worldly matters. And so I guess that's the toelis, that's the worldly matters, and then the uh, the uh, kavod, which is the ego. So so the highest level would be to completely. To get to the point where you're not angry at all about these things, okay? But that's like a much higher level. So that's what Rabbeinu is emphasizing: that there's there's a practical getting rid of anger, and then there's a philosophical getting rid of anger. And this is what I meant when I was talking about the stoicism thing: is that like it, there are mislaic ways to prevent yourself from making bad decisions based on the emotions without undoing the emotion. And there's no shame in that, okay? That's definitely better off than being in the grips of the emotion. But at the same time, you shouldn't take that as equal to the actual perfection. The actual perfection does require a, uh, a certain 
like understanding of the world, a uh, deeper level of self-knowledge and, and such. So that's that. Okay, cool. yeah. All right, that's good for today. See ya.